Hello and welcome to another episode. I'm your host Jonathan Parkington and in this episode we're going to be looking over how to do a little bit of a basic image manipulation on the Chrome web browser. Uh, so this is going to be beneficial for all our Chromebook users and Chromebox users. So what we're going to need to do is open up the web store. So now that we're in here we're going to look for something called Pixel Pixlr Editor. Sorry about that. It'll be P-I-X-L-R dash editor and you're going to want to make sure you download it from the apps which will should be the top uh, selection for it and as we come in here as you can see just your basic uh, details with it all uh, it's very simple to use then pixel editor is going to be just for the quick and easy stuff so when I create uh, topics for uh, some articles or something like that and I need to just take a uh, free to use image and just all I have to do is mod it just a little bit I'll usually throw it in here and that's how I get my images uh, modded up for some of the articles I create so once you have that installed it's gonna have this icon right here I've just dragged and dropped it to my toolbar that's why it's down there and once you click it you're gonna come to this screen and this is going to be our basic uh, screen to look at so the cool thing about this is you can open an image directly from a URL uh, from your library, uh, any of the mobile devices, anything pretty much you can do it with is normal. So what we're going to do is we're just going to create a new basic image. Uh, make sure to click transparent if you do want a transparent background. I don't care what the size or the name of it. And this is what we will be greeted with. And so we'll go over the basic commands here. On the left side, your toolbar. It's going to be your traditional toolbar as you'd see everywhere else. The thing that you want to notice about it is like if I come over here for the wand tool, all the extra little features are going to be over here so there's no right click or click and hold everything's going to be up here to change the actual tool itself uh, coming to the right hand side is going to be your navigation for your entire image you know your zooms in and out uh, the far right on the next on layers will be delete the next one will be add a new layer so if i click add a new layer it'll be transparent right away if you want to remove a background later on so if I, since I have this background locked in as white, I can't move it, can't do anything with it. You actually come over here to the little lock symbol and double click it. And then you should be able to delete it, uncheck it, or even move it. Uh, coming back down here is going to be this little tool. This is actually a neat little tool. This is a layer styles. So if I come over here, and I'll just write something really quick. I love Pixlr. If I have that, we will come in here and I'm going to actually size this up. I'll size it up pretty big and I'll just go hit enter. Since it's not lined up the way I'd like it, I'll just highlight it. Click the center. We have it nice. You can come in here and change your font as well. I know a lot of you guys are going to hate Comic Sans, but just doing it. Anyways, we'll change it to a red. Okay, anyways, well, anyways, here's just a basic something I have written. So coming back on over here in the layer styles, when you click on it, you're going to have a few little options to do quick things, such as like a drop shadow. So it makes things a little snazzy. I'll kick the opacity up. My distance, I'll move it over back towards it just a little bit to give that kind of 3D look. The size will be, if you want, like the actual shadow. So if I just want a shadow of the editor, I'd actually probably do that. I'd move it down a little bit, maybe size it just a little bit more. Opacity down. And that's pretty much how you do that. Good. Okay, now moving down, I'm just going to have inner shadow, which will put the shadow actually inside the red itself, as you can see. So we can change those colors down that. Bevel gives that nice like kind of little rounded look to it outer shadow it's going to give a nice shadow around the entire outside of it and the inner glow uh, now coming over one more is you're going to now be able to uh, add a layer mask uh, and finally you're going to have the opacity as well as the mode you're looking for then you can see your history down at the bottom Another neat option is to add image. So you want to come over to layer if you want to try to bring in multiple uh, images into a single, a 
single thing, you'll just go there. Uh, we'll grab that DMG logo. And so as you see, I just clicked it in, added it as a layer. So we have it as a brand new layer over here. So you actually come into edit and go into free trans uh, transformation, or sorry, free transform. And you'll do that when you've got to make sure that you do have the correct layer highlighted. And from there, you can hold shift. And that's where you can kind of resize everything without losing the style. If I let go of shift, that's when I'm going to be able to resize it to whatever I want. So, and then you just got to make sure you click on the uh, outside of this little box area. And I'll come up this feature, click yes, done. And that's all you need to do for that. Uh, another cool little thing is going to come with these filters up here. So the filters, how these work is, let's say if I want a vignette, you're going to see the vignette kicks actually just on this initial layer. So if you wanted a vignette on that layer, as you can see it happens like that. Now if I wanted a vignette across the entire image, you need to do that last. So I'll right click any image and just go merge visible. They're all merged together. Come up to filter, vignette. And there you go, so the whole thing kind of pops out. You can change your color to whatever you'd like. That's just an example. Another one is going to be coming down to, if you want to mimic HDR, kind of kick up a little bit, a little feel to it. Hope, Hope's gonna be that kind of Shepherd Fairy, Obama look to it, I guess you'd call it. Again, you can do a lot with this. And now you can't do everything you could do in Photoshop, but for about I guess you'd say in the same sense as the way Chromebooks and Chromeboxes work for about 80 to 90% of all people that need to just get what they need done on a daily basis done. That's why they work so well for those individuals at such a uh, cost effective price. Same way as Pixel Editor. Now you come over here and you need to make sure you save it. When you click save, you can save it into a uh, variety of different formats you want to save it as. Uh, PNG will be your best format. JPEG, you want to make sure you click it up to 100%. Now you can save it directly to your computer, your library, or you can even send it directly into Facebook. And that's about it. Now again, this is just a brief kind of overview of the way I use it. Uh, we'll do a little bit more of an in-depth uh, briefing on how to use Pixlr Editor a little bit later on. I'll actually do a segment on all this, on how we can make some really cool images. And that's about it. Again, thanks for watching. Again, I'm your host, Jonathan Parkinson.